For any United fan, this is just about the best place in Leeds to buy a pint. It's also home to United's youngest ever player and the club's record goal scorer. It's Peter Hotshot Lorimer. Yeah, well, I was 39 years of age, you, you know, with, with, I, I finished at 38 and a little bit, you know, I was just coming up to my 39th birthday. Um, I, I could have played on, there's no question, but um, they changed the manager, Eddie, Eddie left and, and Billy came in and he wanted to, uh, rather than develop the young players he had, uh, with me sort of being as their leader, he wanted to bring in um, more experienced players. You know, he brought in the Brendan Ormsby's and, you know, lads that had been around uh, for a few years uh, uh, to try and uh, get instant success, which, of course, it didn't work in the end, but, um, yeah, you know, I, I could have went and played elsewhere. I had offers to go play elsewhere, but, you know, and I thought that, that's the perfect finish for me, finishing at Leeds. I was a happy man. A friend of mine, Ronnie Teeman, a uh, solicitor in Leeds, who had handled a lot of my affairs uh, when I was playing, had, set, had, had bought a, a sports club in Leeds, and he said, we would like you to run the sports club for us. It would be a good idea. That was down in Hunslet, which I did for two years, and they then were selling up and um, the brewery then says we've got a nice pub in Holbeck where all the football fans come to, do you fancy it? Oh, I thought God I'll give it a go and uh, here I am 30 years later. Ah, the pub, the pub trade changed dramatically, you know, and when I took this pub we were surrounded by Case Catalogue, Leeds was a, a vibrant in, industrial city, it's all changed, it's now, um, it's now like a banking city and, and uh, that side of it's gone and of course they've changed all the rules, there's zero tolerance to people having a drink when they're at work and, and they've got, you know, canteens in the work where the, 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 uh, the workers get food at subsidised prices, so it's changed dramatically. But the part I enjoy, um, as you can see today, you know, we're surrounded by our Scandinavian supporters, our Irish supporters and that, and it's part of my life, you know, the pub, Leeds United, that is my life and, you know, days like this I get both of them, although it's not been a great day, but I get both of these things. I do my stint behind the bar, although Susan says I don't do enough, but, you know, I, I, I feel at times like this, people want me this side of the bar so they can have a chat to me and, and we talk about the game and the disappointment or the good days and, um, and it, it, you know, it seems to work, but um, how long I'll be in the pub game, I don't know. I mean, I sometimes think I'll pack it in, but then, then we have good days and I think, no, it's, it's all's well, you know. But you couldn't afford to live off your football earnings. No, there's got to be something uh, other than that, you know. And, 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 and to be fair, I, I've spoke to some players and they do find it difficult coping with that transformation from one, one minute you're in the headlines and the next minute you're having to work as a normal person do, you know. As I say, I've been quite lucky. I've kept in touch with the football. You know, football's all around me, and so I'm still involved in, in a different way. Um, but I mean, there's been lots of players. You know, the, you, I, I seen one player on television the other day that was a. I can't remember his, his name right now, but he was driving a lorry. You know, you've got to work. You know, you can't. You cannot live off the kind of money we earn. I mean, the modern day player, if they if they uh, sign a contract for four or, four or five years on, you know, 20, 25 grand a week, you're talking about earning four or five million pound over that period. Okay, with taxes off, they're still going to be very comfortable, but we weren't as lucky as that, but we enjoyed it. You know, that was how it was at our time. I mean, I, I my great friend was the great John Charles. Uh, who used to come and, and visit me every day, and, and uh, you know until he died, unfortunately, a few years ago, and and he was a world record transfer fee, and he went to play in Juventus, and when John told me the kind of money they were earning, it, you, you felt embarrassed for them, you know, because it was it was so poor, you know.